Hello and welcome to a new and exciting video. How are you all doing? I missed you guys. I know it's been a while since my last video. I was away on vacation enjoying myself visiting the motherland, the Philippines, for the first time in 13 years. To say that I missed the trip is an understatement and I would totally go back and redo it again if I could. I have also documented the whole trip so be on the lookout for that for the upcoming videos related to that in the future. Also today is my birthday at the time of uploading this video and I feel really blessed and honored and grateful to still be doing this thing at this age. And speaking of age, take a guess in the comments below how old do you think I am. Also leave the birthday greetings in the comment as well if you're a real one. And for today's video, I will be talking about the pieces that I have picked up from October and November. Most of these pieces are mainly geared towards the winter season. For reference, I am 5 foot 6 and I weigh 165 pounds. Let's start off with the first pickup. First on the list is definitely my favorite brand at the moment which is Tusi. I am delighted to have been able to visit Vancouver again on my recent trip and with that, Tusi Vancouver is a must stop for me. I picked up a few items from them. I picked up a crew neck, two graphic tees, the Stussy Work Gear skull cap, sling bag, and water bottle. The crew neck is definitely one of my favorites among these Stussy pieces since this one is not available online and only exclusive on location which makes it even more special because I had to be in the store to pick it up and I plan on picking up more exclusive Stussy pieces in other Stussy locations worldwide. The next two tees are just a regular Stussy graphic in navy and the scorpion tee from a recent drop. Next up is this 2C work gear skull cap that I'm actually wearing right now in bone colorway. I was really lucky to get this in the store as it was sold out online right away during the drop. And this specific cap was the last stock in store which is why I am even more excited to have it. Next is this Tusi sling bag in black. I really like the size of this bag, especially the faded look which makes it look vintage. The bag feels premium and uses premium YKK zippers and I can fit a ton of items in it as well. Last but not the least is this Nalgene water bottle. I have been waiting to pick it up from Stussy and I am glad that it restocked when I came to Vancouver. Before we proceed on the next item on the list, if you're enjoying this video, consider liking it and let me know in the comments below. These next pieces were gifted to me by my brother so shout out to my brother for the plug. I have always wanted the bird head took from Arcteryx since last year but it has always been sold out. And finally, I was able to get not one but two. I got the Orca in Arctic Silk colorways. I have used both of these and I can vouch for how great and warm they are for the colder weather. A solid recommendation for me. Last Arcteryx pickup is this Mantis waist pack that I recently got as a gift from an exchange gift. Like the bird head took, the Mantis waist pack is always sold out in this colorway but I am glad that the bag restocked just in time for our Christmas party. The bag has two compartments and in comparison to the Stussy sling bag, the Arcteryx Mantis appears to be a little narrow. These next pieces were gifted from the good folks from Peace Collective so thank you guys for always supporting the channel and what I do. The first two items I got are from Peace Collective's Better Together campaign. I got a crew neck and a graphic tee from the said campaign. What I love about these pieces is the simple piece logo on the chest area and the big message printed on the back. Between the two, the tee is my favorite because I love the vintage dye collar and the oversized fit. The other two pieces I got from Peace Collective are from their NBA collection campaign. I got the NBA tee in mocha brown with all the team logos printed on the back and the vintage dyed Lakers graphic tee wrapping my favorite NBA tee. I will have the links to the pieces in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself or definitely a great gift for the holidays. Next up is these Realtree camo pants that I got from a consignment shop in Vancouver called From Another. I have been on the lookout for some nice Realtree pants in this pattern and colorway and I was in for a treat when I found this in the shop for only $20. The pants are made out of fleece making it perfect for the winter weather. The pants also have a baggy fit which is perfect for the look that I am currently on right now. 
this next pickup I got was purely all luck. I got this Nike Dunk Low in Seattle's Nike Premium Outlet when I was in Vancouver. I say I got this purely out of luck because this was the last size and was on display. And to make it even better, I got an extra 30% off the price and only got it for $80 altogether. The main reason why I picked this up is the sale colorway with the hints of pine green in the shoe. If you know me, this kind of colorway on the shoe is my thing as this type of colorway makes the shoes have the vintage feel making it look and feel timeless. I got these next pieces primarily for running during the fall season. I got these thermal beanie and gloves for the colder temperature when running outside. But I find myself also reaching out for these as well for the winter weather. I really love the gloves as they are fashionably sleek and warm. This New York fitted hat from Ame Leondor is another one that I was waiting for quite some time. I was inspired by one of my good friends who has collected all the New York fitted hats from Ame Leondor. And when the green became available again, I went immediately and copped it. There's just nothing else to say about this hat other than it is easily one of the timeless hats I consider to be in my collection. This perfume is one that I am really excited to finally pick up. I have always had my eyes on the Labo's Another 13 fragrance thanks to Daniel Simmons. I kept seeing Daniel wearing this perfume in his get ready with me videos. I initially passed up on buying this perfume back in June when I was in Vancouver but I was given the opportunity again this time around so I went ahead and bought it. What I love about this perfume besides the amazing scent is the personalization that comes with it. It does indicate the location of the lab where I got it from as well as the name of the person who prepared the bottle for me. It also indicates the date when it was prepared and my name on the bottle. I only got the 50 ml size as this perfume is definitely Definitely not cheap. This pair of sunglasses is from the brand Sunny Studios which is a brand based in the Philippines. This pair has a nice and durable build quality aside from the great looks. But what's nice is that it only cost me 595 pesos which is roughly 15 Canadian dollars. Nothing beats a nice pair of high quality sunglasses at an affordable price. Last but not the least in this list of pickups is this iPhone 15 Pro Max. Finally, I gave in and upgraded my phone after 4 years of using my iPhone XR. My XR is still really in a great condition. The only issue I had was that I already ran out of storage, hence decided to finally get a new one. And I chose to upgrade to the 15 Pro Max because of USB-C storage expansion capability, camera upgrades, but especially the Apple Log format when shooting video, which is perfect when I am making cinematic videos, as Log format has more information in the videos giving more flexibility when editing in post. But had my iPhone XR had more storage, I would not be upgrading. And there you guys have it for my recent pickups for this winter. What are your recent pickups? Let me know in the comment section below and I am just happy to be back and making this videos again. Also, I will have all the links for some of the items on this video in the description if ever you'll wanted to buy for yourselves or as a gift for the holidays. And do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And if you have made it this far into the video, thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time, stay safe, stay fitted. Peace.